I've been dreaming not in my head like I've seen it. A life worth living is a life with meaning. I'll do what I love till my heart stops beating. I'm feeding this demon. Got a taste, can't erase bitterness in my face. Work a job every day till your dreams fade away. Like a card, never change. Play the game that we say. I need a break. Time to stay strong, need to move on to be what I want. I'll keep dreaming on. Time to stay strong, need to move on to be what I want. I'll keep dreaming on. All right, everybody. Welcome to Ian's RC. Coming at you with another video today. We're gonna pick back up on this Tamiya Holiday Buggy build. So the next step we're gonna be working on is the gears and stuff here, into the transmission and all that stuff. <clears throat> so I got all my parts and pieces already laid out here. I got them all trimmed and all the stuff I'm gonna need for them. So we're just gonna go ahead and put them together. <clears throat> put some gloves on because we gotta grease some pieces in this. First step here, you're going to need the big gear here, the GB3. <clears throat> and you're going to take Yeah, one of the large double gears and we're gonna put a little bit of grease on the outside here in this bottom part if I can get it to come out Go, you don't need a little bit. Spread that around. Right, drop that down in there. And then we're going to take the star shaft. <clears throat> we'll get a little bit of grease on each one of these little tabs on here and you're going to take your small bevel gears oh, if I can grab a hold of them. and then they're going to go with the point facing inward all the way around all three of them those are a lot of fun to try to grab a hold of now that your fingers are greasy set that down for a second then we're going to put a little bit more grease on the top of this big bevel gear <laughs> and then we're going to drop this down in here you can see there's three slots for the three pins to fall down into. So you just line those up and drop them down in there. Alright. So 
it should look like that. And then more grease. I don't think they gave you enough grease for this whole build. I'm going to end up having to use some of my old grease, it looks like. That's alright. We don't really need too, too much in here. Then you take your other big bevel gear. And there's enough grease still on my gloves for me to just rub on the back of that. That'll be good for that. Like you don't need a bunch back there. And then it goes right up in this piece. And then you line up the little screw holes. And also these little pegs. They're going to go in the same spot as those other pegs. Yeah, that's together. And then you're going to use three of the BA-10 tapping screws. Wipe some of this grease off my fingers. Grab the screwdriver. started a little bit and then I'll go back and crank all three of them down you don't want to get them too too tight you want them just tight enough to where it holds it together you don't want to crack the plastic gears or anything flush tight all right so then we'll go on to the next step all right we're going on to the next step now it's going to be step six we're going to need part a1 off of the parts tree this is going to be part of the transmission casing 
and you're going to need two of the bearings and then the BA13 shaft and this big long gear here so you're going to take a bearing put it in this side take a bearing and pop it down in this side Make sure it's pushed down in there good. Alright, and then this will go right in here. And you'll use this rod. Go down, all the way down until it lines up and locks in. And there we go, we got a gear. Alright, so now set this to the side so we can look on to the next page and see what we got to do next. Wipe some of this grease off of my fingers. Step seven is going to be taking this big gear and part A3 we're going to need two bearings four of the BA-8 screws double check that, make sure it's the right size, yep, there we go, so we need four of those it might be the last of those There's four. Alright, we're also going to need a BA9, which I'm pretty sure are these little ones here. Teeny tiny ones. Go ahead and set them on there and double check. shaped head like that. So those and these two nuts here. And then another two bearings. Alright. Put these screws back. <clears throat> Just got these fast eddy bearings for it. Fresh out the case. Alright, so we're going to be greasing up this gear 
and basically just putting it all together so I'm gonna go ahead and bust into the time-lapse and once I get all that stuff put together for you guys I'll come back to you sorry about that so this is actually the next day um, if you've seen on that little last clip there I was having to figure out how to get the 540 motor to actually line up right with the pinion gear that I have because it sticks out more you don't use that little brace thing there that they give you for the 380 motor so I got that all figured out I actually had to flip my pinion over the other way to get it to line up right because I didn't have a spacer to put in here and I mean if I put the spacer in here that I needed like this motor was going to be sticking out like way out here <clears throat> so hopefully this works out good I mean everything seems to be working all right lined up good pinions on there good so now the next step is to put the cover on and then start putting on the a-arms and stuff so let's go ahead and do that so this is going to go this way you see that there's a hole there it's going to go this is going to go into All right, and then you're going to use the BA-8 tapping screws, three of them. It's wanting to give me trouble. Is it the wrong screw? I think I might have grabbed the wrong one right there because that one seems to be a little bit longer than the other one. Alright, I'm going to 
grab the other screw and double check okay yeah that's exactly what it was I had the screw I had is just a tad bit too long so we double check the screws guys like a lot of these screws I'm noticing they look really similar they're really close and it's just like a tiny little bit longer or shorter goes in there a lot better got a little grease coming out right there all right now ways to make sure that like everything's good in there the, the gears are lined up right nothing's bound up I just take anything that will go right here like your screwdriver nope that one don't work alright well anyway you can put something in here a screwdriver and turn and see if it's binding up but there's another way that I actually seen on Adam's playground so I'm gonna go grab a double-a battery and I'll be right back alright I'm back so now on Adam's playground I've seen where he did he could test to make sure everything was good in there and nothing was bound up and the gears were all running good together you know before he had it all put together and built because if something's messed up you want to be able to get right back in there and fix it but you just take the double A you put one on the positive end one on the negative end now I'm not sure yellow or green Yep, see, there we go. Everything sounds good, seems to be running all right. All right. Now, the only difference if you put it the other way is it's just going to run in reverse. Let's see if I can get it. sounds like it's running pretty good all right so there's that step that parts all done so next we'll be moving on to putting the a arms and the, the drive cups and all that in there so stick around